Warm greetings from High 10. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Wednesday, October 7, 2020. I'd like to bring you said information out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. George Floyd death. Ex-Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin posts $1 million bail released from jail. This is by Fox News. The former Minneapolis police officer seen in the viral video kneeling on the neck of George Floyd before, before his death in police custody posted a $1 million bond and was released Wednesday. Derek Chauvin, who is charged with second-degree murder, third-degree murder, and manslaughter, was released from Oak Park Heights Prison, where he has been held since May 31st, a Minnesota Department of Corrections spokesperson confirmed to Fox 9 Minneapolis. The Hineman... The Hineman Hennepin, excuse me, County Sheriff's Office posted a notice of release indicating Chauvin paid a $1 million bond and was required by law to show in court on March 8, 2021 at 9 a.m. A court document signed by A. Affordable Bail Bonds of Brainerd, Minnesota also shows Chauvin paid the non-cash bond on Wednesday. The other three officers at the scene, Thomas Lane, Jay Queen, and Tool Tail, are charged with aiding and abetting. They previously posted bail amounts of $750,000 and have been freed pending trial. Currently, all four men are scheduled to face trial together in March, but the judge is weighing a request to have them tried separately. Meanwhile, a large mural dedicated to George Floyd in Minneapolis was to face again Wednesday. Surveillance video from Cup Foods shows a man wearing a face mask over a ski mask walk up to the mural and spray red paint on it about 4 a.m. Sunday. A store employee, T.J., Abuma Yale told the Minneapolis Star Tribune it was defaced once before in August. Okay, that's the said information pertaining to um, George Floyd, Mr. Chauvin, the cop who has been accused of murdering Mr. Floyd, third degree murder. Second degree murder and manslaughter has been released from an Oak Park Heights prison on a million dollar non cash bond. Um, we'll see how that unfolds. The other suspects have also been out pending trial, so we will see what happens with this said situation. As for this fool creep that keeps defacing the mural on the wall, why, 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 why are you doing that? It's not bothering you. You don't have a dog in the race. You don't give a damn. So why are you vandalizing this wall, which is not doing anything to you? You see, these are things where I have it's stuff like this. Try not to curse. That bothers me because it's like it's a mural. It doesn't affect you in any way. Why do you care? Why are you vandalizing this wall, which is not bothering you because it's, it's not a person. It's an entity. So why vandalize it? You don't care for what's going on pertaining to George Floyd. That's your business. That's your prerogative. But don't go to facing a mural that doesn't have anything to do with you. It's not bothering you. And you're vandalizing it by spray painting over it. See, people are so ignorant right now. And it's just like, you know, I'm in a place where it's like, you know what? I don't need the added aggravation. Even getting on here talking about these people. To me, sometimes it's like a waste of time because nobody cares about anybody. Nobody cares about themselves. So they sure as hell can't care about me or anyone out here in the street. And as we see, nobody cared about that man that day. That's why he's dead. That's the said information coming out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Like, share, subscribe, drop your comments below. Thanks for joining me on this Wednesday in the High 10. God bless all of you. Mask up. Stay safe. Thank you for watching, joining, subscribing. I really appreciate it. God bless all of you. And until the next video, this is Everyday Shenanigans. You all have a safe week. Bye-bye.